All right, welcome everybody to Family Feud. I'm your host, Mr. Serna. Today we have with us uh, Team One, Captain by Eric Barkium, Alumni Vacation. Let's give them a big round of applause for Alumni Vacation. And joining us, Team Two, today, uh, we have the Martinez, Team Martinez. Let's give them a big round of applause and a big welcome to Family Feud season style. All right, so. Uh, we're going to go ahead and begin round one. So give, give me Rachel and give me Eric. All right, we have Eric and we have Rachel. Good luck to both of you. Uh, so remember, the first one to put an X into the chat box gets to answer the question. We surveyed 100 seated students. Name a reason why the dean would call you into her office. Rachel. Dress, dress code. Dress code. Number one answer. Oh. Rachel, pass or play? Play. All right, we're gonna play Team Martinez. So up next is gonna be Brandy Martinez. We surveyed 100 seed and students. Name a reason why the dean would call you into her office. B bullying. Bullying. Survey says? <laughs> we're still uh, no strikes. Addison, you're up. Or name a reason why the dean would call you into her office. Cheating. Cheating. 15 points. We're still alive. No strikes. Jake, unmute yourself. Name a reason why the dean would call you into her office. Uh, Roy. Oh, Roy, party. Let's see that what the survey says. <laughs> On strike. Rachel, rate the reason why the dean would call you into her office. What is it? Drugs. Drugs. Survey says. Oh, we have. <laughs> Alumnification, uh, private message, Eric, your answers in case you have a chance to steal. Uh, Brandy, so we have to slow down. We have two strikes now. Uh, so I'll read it once again. We surveyed 100 student students. Name a reason why the dean would call you into her office. Brandy, unmute yourself. Stealing. All right, stealing, is that what you said? Yes. All right, let's check the board. Survey says uh, oh, we have three strikes. All right, alumni vacation, it's your chance to steal. We surveyed 100 seed and students, Eric. Name a reason why the dean would call you into her office. Uh, how about fighting? Fighting, let's see. Survey says for the steal. Oh, that was a good one. Congratulations, Team Martinez. 54 points to you guys. All right, the end of round one, we have Team Martinez with 54, alumni vacation with zero. Let's check the board. Question or answer eight. So an academic award, one person said that. That's great. Let's see number six. Doing dumb, five. Not shaving, four. Locker issue, and two. ID problems, all right. <laughs> Let's clear the board. Let's get ready for round two. Double the points. Give me Nicole and give me Brandy. All right, don't forget, please, uh, you'll be, whoever puts an X into the chat box first gets to answer the question. Surveyed 100 Seton alumni. 100 Seton alumni. Name a reason why you would need to go back to Seton. Nicole. Homecoming. Homecoming, survey says. <laughs> All right, Brandy, you have a chance. There's still one answer above that. Football game. For a football game, uh, you can be more specific. <laughs> a sporting event. All right, the judge was, uh, was on it. Thank you, judge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Nicole, pass or play? You had a higher scoring answer. We'll play. All right, <laughs> my vacation's gonna play. Let's head on over. Uh, so Jeff, if you can unmute yourself. Uh, remember, we surveyed 100 Seton alumni. Name a reason why you would, you would need to go back to Seton. An alumni mass. Alumni mass. Survey says. Ooh. <laughs> We asked 100 people, alumni, no one said that? Wow, that was a good one though, nice try. All right, let's see, Ben. Ben, same question, name a reason why you would need to go back to Seton. Uh, let's go with um, 
to get your transcripts. Get your transcripts, another good one. Uh, survey says. Oh, wow. wow, we got two strikes already, alumni vacation. Oh. Team Martinez, please uh, private message Rachel, your, your captain, so that if you have the chance to steal, you're ready. All right, so since Matt is not with us, Eric, we're going to put you back. Uh, we're going to go to you. Eric, name a reason why you would need to go back to Seaton. How about your kids go there? Okay, your kids go there. Well, there you go, 11 points. You're still alive. Okay, next, Nicole. We're back to you, Nicole. Name a reason why you would need to go back to Seaton. How about um, Hall of Fame? Hall of Fame, survey says. Oh, a good one too. All right, uh, Team Martinez, Rachel, you have a chance to steal. We surveyed 100 Seaton alumni. Name a reason why you would need to go back to Seaton. For fun to see your, your teachers and friends. So just for fun to visit. All right, let's see what the survey says. Oh, there was, it wasn't up there. So alumni vacation, you take the round and the 102 points. Congratulations, alumni vacation. All right, let's see what the board says. Uh, number seven. Oh, wow, to get better grades. One person said that. I don't know how that would work, but okay. The cookies, uh, I think, is the there you go. For the cookies, number five. Oh, fundraiser, I guess. Yeah, fundraiser makes sense. Uh, number one, class reunions. Uh, that one <laughs> well, that one escaped all of us. All right, so after two rounds, we have alumni vacation 102 and T. Martinez 54, but it's still anybody's game. We're going to go to round three. Give me Jeff and give me Addison. All right, so for this one, we surveyed 100 seed in parents. Name a reason you might get rid of an old family heirloom. Jeff. For money. For money. Survey says, okay. Uh, Addison, you have three. Uh, uh, answers up there still. So remember, we surveyed 100 seen and parents. Name a reason you might get rid of an old family heirloom. <coughs> Addison, unmute yourself. All right, a few seconds left. Because you lost it. Okay, can you repeat that? Because you lost it? Because you lost it. Survey says. Okay, so alumni vacation. Pass or play? We'll, we'll play. All right, alumni vacation, you are playing. So, Ben, questions to you. We surveyed 100 seed in parents, so the answers were from parents only. Name a reason you might get rid of an old family heirloom. You're giving it to your kids. Giving it to your kids. Survey says. All right, you got one strike. So we go to Eric. Eric, name a reason why you might get rid of an old family heirloom. You're moving. Moving. Survey says, oh, you're still alive. And we have uh, one strike, I believe. So we're going to Nicole. Nicole, same question. Name a reason you would need to, or name a reason you might get rid of an old family heirloom. Um, how about donating to St. Vincent's or Goodwill? Well, let's say donation, uh, survey says. Too much stuff, yeah. Let's uh, up next, uh, Jeff, back to you. 
Name a reason why you might get rid of an old family heirloom. I'm going to say uh, cleaning. You're cleaning out your house. Cleaning out the house. Survey says. <laughs> strikes. Alumnification, you got to be careful. Uh, Team Martinez, please uh, private message Rachel your, your answers in case you have a chance to steal. Uh, so who do we have? Is it uh, Ben's turn? We just went with Jeff, right? So Ben, no pressure, but you have two strikes. Okay, how about, how about because it's broken? It's broken. Survey says, answer. All right. All right, now we, uh, we're back to Eric. Name a reason you might get rid of an old family heirloom. Have we answered because it's lost? Because it's lost. You have not. Let's see what the survey says. <laughs> three strikes and you're out so let's go to team martinez for the steal rachel we surveyed 100 seed in parents name a reason why you might get rid of an old family heirloom to pass it down to, like to your kids to pass it down to your kids survey says <laughs> oh so that means alumnification, you take the points. And you're still short of the 300 points to get to fast money. So let's see, before we get into uh, sudden death, let's see what number six was. So family, it's a family feud, I guess. You're fighting with your family, not the game. Okay. Next one is divorce. And number two, because it's ugly. That makes sense. All right, so we're going to go to sudden death. Yeah. All right, so Ben and Roy, so we're going to give you a sudden death question, and we're going to look for the top answer only. All right. All right, sudden death. We're looking just for the number one answer, and we have, we have uh, Ben versus Roy. Name something you fill with air. Ben? Let's go with, uh, let's go with balloon, Victor. All right. Balloon survey says. Yeah, alumni, alumnification, congratulations. You have won the family feud and we'll be playing for the fast money. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's give a big round of applause to Team Mark. So alumni vacation, who will be playing Fast Money? I'll, I'll, I'll do the second one. Okay. Right, so we'll go Eric first and then Jeff. Everyone else, I'm going to put you in the waiting room so that uh, you're as surprised as we are when uh, to see how well they did. And we'll bring <laughs> everybody in at the end so that you can uh, partake in seeing the, the questions and the answers. All right, Eric. So uh, I will read the answer or the question, and the timer will start when, when I finish reading the first question. If you have trouble with any of the questions and you needed to repeat, just say pass. And we can get back to it if you have uh, if we have time. Got it? I think so. Okay. So beginning with the first, uh, well, control. Are we ready? All right. First question. The timer begins when I finish reading the first question. Which school grade would a teacher need the most patience in order to teach? Second grade. Name something you smell before you buy it. Flowers. Name something associated with the word bubbly. Champagne. Name something you might see out on the ocean. A whale. Name something people put on salads. Dressing. You got it. All right. Hey, Eric, we're going to see how you did. All right, which school grade would a teacher need the most patience in order to teach? 
You said second grade. The answer, survey says. Uh, ouch. Name something you smell before you buy it. Your answer. Flower, survey says. Name something associated with the word bubbly. Champagne, survey says. Name something you might see out on the ocean. Survey says. Name something people put on salads. Dressing, survey says. Wow, all right. Good job, Eric. You have 100 Thanks. points, 89 points away from that $5 gift certificate. <laughs> We're going to send you to the waiting room and we'll bring in Jeff. All right, welcome, Jeff. Jeff. All right. Eric got you 111 points. So you're 79 points away from, or 89 points away from winning uh, your $5 gift card. All right. Okay. Are you ready to win some money? Yeah, let's do it. So you're going to have 30 seconds. And if you repeat an answer that Eric gave, you'll hear this sound. That means try again, or I'll tell you try again. Um, if there's any, if you have trouble with any of the questions, just say pass, and we'll come back to it if we have time. Got it? OK, yep. All right. The, the timer will begin after I finish reading the first question. Which? School grade, would a teacher need the most patience in order to teach? Freshman. Name something you smell before you buy it. Uh, fruit. Name something associated with the word bubbly. Bath. Name something you might see out on the ocean. Whale. Try again. Uh, a pelican. Name something people put on salads. Dressing. Try again. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. All right. Welcome, alumni vacation. So you are 89 points away from your $5 gift cards to Starbucks or Dutch Brothers. Try to control your excitement. I, I... <laughs> All right. So we asked Jeff, second round uh, of questions. Which school grade would a teacher need the most patience in order to teach? Jeff answered. Freshman, survey said. 12 points. Uh, the number one answer was kindergarten. Kindergarten was the number one answer. Now, name something you smell before you buy it. Fruit, survey says. Wow, 41 points. Oh. Fruit was the number one answer. Wow. Name something associated with the word bubbly. Champagne, survey said, oh, I'm sorry, bath. Champagne was already said. Survey says, 14. We're up to 178. You need 22 points. And you still have two questions to go. Name something you might see out on the ocean. Nope. And you're still 22 points away. You can still win this. Name something people put on salads. Tomatoes. Survey says. Oh, you're 22 points away. Well, alumnification, you didn't win the gift cards, but I hope you did. What? You're not the vote. <laughs> Good job, guys. All right, nice All right. job. Thank you, right. thank you for playing and thank you for tuning in to Family Feud. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye, bye.